Hello, my name is Daniela. I'm a proud cat mom and cat lady, and today we're going to be discussing 43 Perfective Ideas for Cat Lovers published by Self Magazine. And we're going to be judging how perfect they really are. So if you're excited, please be sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And let's begin. So first, we have a bubble pad carrier backpack. So I've actually seen these around, well, not in person, but I know that like Anna Akana, she's a big cat lady. And I've seen a video of one of, like some of her kitties in one of these, I want to say. <laughs> this looks really cool. I didn't know how much I would like getting it as a gift because even though like I would love to take my cat everywhere. I think she would get really anxious and it would like mentally stress her out. So if I was to get this as a gift, even though it, it does seem really cool, like this would not be a gift that I would want. All right, so the second one is a Pet Kit Mini Smart Feeder. And this one actually looks really cool because it says that it monitors the nutritional and calorie intake and the weight. and most importantly, it can be used to feed the cat remotely. Like I think for me as a cat person, like that would be the most important thing, like being able to feed my cat. Like if I'm out grocery shopping and it's 7 p.m., I would like to be able to give her her food so she doesn't have to wait for me to arrive. So I think from a convenience standpoint, this is a great gift to give. Now the smart feeder itself, I don't know how it is because I think that would be like a whole separate video on trying to find the perfect um, smart feeder. But as an idea, I think the concept is great. Next, we have a cat person meal plan starter box. And this is a pet meal delivery service that delivers thoughtfully designed, high quality, gourmet, wet, dry, and treats. So I would personally not like this. I get the concept of it, but my cat is extremely picky. Like I used to have a notebook of every single wet food flavor that she liked and she didn't like. And something like this would probably be a waste. And it would also then, even if the service was great, then now it's something that I'm forced to continue giving my cat. Cause with cats, like they're very picky eaters where if they lack a food, they might just decide to not eat any of the other ones. So it's a very delicate balance trying to mess with their diet. So I wouldn't recommend anyone giving any type of meal plan or bags of food or anything like that. Like sure, if you see some treats, that might be cool to get for your cat person. But otherwise, I would really stay away from these personalized things. All right, next we have macrame cat hammock. So these are really stylish. They're really cool. I love the way that macrame looks, but realistically speaking, my cat, like my cat probably wouldn't use this. It would also, if you're giving this as somebody, something to consider is, are they renting? Do they own the place? Do they feel comfortable drilling on the walls? Like, if you're renting, you have to be a lot more aware of what kind of supports you can use and all of that stuff. So this would be an okay gift if you know that person's style and you've already seen like that sort of like boho vibe in their house, then maybe, but otherwise I wouldn't recommend it because chances are cat's not going to actually claim on it. <laughs> um, Anything that you buy cats usually gets unused, so I I wouldn't want to get this. All right, next we have Tiny Tent's Tiny Tent. It's an outdoorsy cat lover. I would also not really care for this. I don't know if maybe like, I know there are some cats that they do go hiking with their humans, if this could be something, but I mean, if it's inside the house, it just seems out of place. And if it's for outdoors, I don't know how much a cat would like to be on its own versus being with their humans. So 
this would be a definite no for me. All right, then we have a cat person mess up bowl. So this is a stylish bowl with a shallow design to combat whisker fatigue and elevate it for cats ergonomic comfort. <laughs> It's so weird reading like ergonomic stuff for cats because like, I work on my computer all day So yeah, like I'm very aware of like ergonomic things for like keyboards and computers and mouse and all of that But it's definitely weird to read it about cats um, I mean for this Again, you have to know your person's style to for this to be relevant. I personally think that this is weird looking and it looks like just two bowls upside down it's just not my thing i wouldn't want this either um so i'm gonna say pass this one though it looks so cute i could never get this so <laughs> it wouldn't work because it's all out of that um let's see if they say it in the description uh Oh, it's the rope. So that rope center, my cat doesn't really like to use the rope. So everything that I get her has to be cardboard. So even though this is adorable and I would probably get this, well, love to get this in the heartbeat. If it was cardboard, because it's a rope, this would get unused and it would just waste space and it would be a waste of money. So I will pass this one emotionally. Like, if you've seen that like their cat enjoys rope, like they'll use the cat tree and every all the rope around it is used up, then sure, like this might be a great gift. Otherwise, I would stay away from it because again, cats are super picky. If they like rope, they will go with the rope. If they like cardboard, they will go with cardboard and they kind of stick with it. And it'd be a shame if you spend the money and then no one used it. So these little Andiker cat spiral springs. Um, the springs themselves are really cool. I think they're worth giving your cat. As far as it being a gift, if you're buying a gift for the cat for Christmas, sure. I don't know that it would be as memorable if you give it to a cat person. Like, if you got, like, your cat person something and then you got your cat something, like, this would be really cute. Um, they're usually not at the stores. I actually found mine at a very tiny shop out in, like, a small town. So, this isn't a super fancy gift. They are rare to get. At least I haven't seen that many. Usually, pet stores stick with balls and catnip. <laughs> and that's all you get. So this is an interesting gift for sure. Next we have Boots and Barkley Yoga Cat Scratcher <laughs> for the for the cat parents who sell a little extra. Uh, definitely for cat parents who sell a little extra. I can see that. It's very cute, like paws and purr. Very pretty. I don't think that my cat would use this, so I would also not want to get this. If you've noticed while visiting your friend that they their cat will be hiding places and using the tunnels and using the caves and all of that, then I, I would maybe try it out. But otherwise, I don't think this is that great of a gift because again, the cat might or might not like it. And I think all of us, when we gift, we're just trying to aim to make that person happy then for 10 we have pioneer pet stainless steel dog and cat fountain so i am personally a little bit biased against this because i actually ended up getting a fountain for my dog and my cat because my dog doesn't drink as much water as i think that she should and the pet fountain itself, like, my cat really enjoyed it, so I would say a cat will probably like the fountain. However, the quality of these, I'm not sure on. And, like, mine stopped working after, like, seven months. 
and I don't know that it was worth the price that I paid and the lack of customer support. So it's like a, it's almost like gifting someone trouble because they also have to upkeep with the filters. So sure, you give them that initial boost, but now they have to spend money on the filters. I think for the fountain, I would probably lean towards no because that's talking about the setup and nutrition and all of that stuff and cats are very particular us pet parents are very particular about what we feed our kids how their their space looks and all of that so i would probably stay away from the pet fountain okay. next up we have shom shom and the shom shom pet roller is dealing with cat hair for a practical but a great gift, check out the cold favorite Com Com, a reusable lint roller that we love because it easily connect, collects and empties cat hair. Yeah, I mean, there's no school. I personally wouldn't find much value in it because I've come to a point where I just don't care about dog or cat hair. <laughs> like, it's just not something that I'm really super passionate about i'm not trying to take an extra time out of my day to get rid of it um unless it's just like obviously like impacting the way something looks otherwise i usually don't maybe when i used to go into the office i would be more concerned especially with my jackets i like to have them nice and crisp but otherwise i wouldn't have a use for this so i am also going to say no to it Next we have aloe and oatmeal cleansing wipes. Um, I mean, sure, these are like interesting to have, I guess, but get giving this as a gift, I don't know how thoughtful it is. I like, I would almost take it like your cat smells bad, <laughs> like, and you're trying to tell me that my cat smells bad so i need to wipe them <laughs> so i would stay away from this sort of thing it's just if the cat mom or cat dad wants it they can purchase it themselves <laughs> all right next up is the litter robot 3 connect it is the gift that keeps on giving it does the dirty work sifting potty into a drawer and Freeze up time and energy, it's Bluetooth enabled, syncs with an app, and they think that it's worth the money at $549. Now, that's a lot of fanciness to be buying for a cat. I am also very budget conscious. I don't know that I would get this. Um, but if you got extra money and you want to give a cat parent a self cleaning litter box with an app and all that then i mean sure it could be interesting but again it might also be a waste because the cat might just refuse to go into it i've never had any issues switching my cat litter boxes but i know some cats are a lot pickier so this is also a risk that i don't know if it's worth it so I am going to say no to the, what they call it, the litter robot, because I think it's too much of a risk for someone to give us a gift. So it's more of a novelty item. So I'm going to pass. Then we have the Shark Coreless Pet Perfect Handheld Vacuum. Again, this thing, maybe I'm just weird, but People are very particular about their electronics and what they like, what they expect from it. So I don't like I I, don't, I wouldn't want somebody to buy me a vacuum. Like you don't know what I want in my vacuum. Like maybe I want accessories with it, but now I have this vacuum and now I can't go buy another one because I already have one. So now it's a waste of money. So I wouldn't do this either. I I don't see the the point. All right, next we have Meowfia Premium <laughs> Meowfia <laughs> um, Premium Filled Cat Cake Bread. Um, this looks really cute. Um, 
I would never get this for my cat. I would never spend $40 on a, on a bed because she never uses it. So it's a big pass for me. Next we have Helga Cat Over Me. Keep your fingers cool and protected in this quilted over me from anthropology. Over mitts are fine. I actually included it in one of in my previous video with like gifts for cat lovers. But I personally don't like this. I think the cat looks angry. I don't know if it's like a square eyes, but I'm just not feeling it. So I wouldn't want this. And it was what? $16? Yeah. No. I would rather get that black one that I got on my previous video because that one was really cute. Yeah. So, but I guess for the theme, the idea itself of getting over mittens is fine. So we can we can give it a pass technically. <laughs> okay. Next are these I've seen these around CAD AirPod holder figurines. I have seen these come up somewhere. I don't know where, but I have seen them. They look really cool. I wish I had AirPods, I guess, so that I could have an excuse to get them. But these are trendy, they're fun. I think they're a pass, like adorable. Electric pet massager, what? Cats are arguably some of the laziest creatures. This face massager is designated to roll all around a cat's cheeks. One of their favorite sensations. Hmm. Maybe? I mean, it's interesting. I think I would try it. I mean, I think it would be cool to get this as a gift. But I wouldn't... I don't know how my cat would feel about it. My dog would probably enjoy it. Like they have a picture of a dog too. So I guess like for me it would work because I have a dog and a cat. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, this is neat. I, I say pass. Turns out I'm way more opinionated about cat stuff than I even realized. So we're gonna make this part one and then I will see you on part two over here and that video will have the complete list of all the good good stuff from their suggestions. So I'll see you over there.